Alright, hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa, and yes, we have another Pokemon video for today, but this is no ordinary Pokemon video I bring you today. As you may have guessed by the title already, this is going to be my 50 subscriber special, so yes, thank you everybody for 50 subscribers. It really, really does mean a lot to me. This is the first subscriber special I've done since I started doing this YouTube thing, and uh... It really does make me feel good about doing it because it, I, doing this YouTube channel has just given me something to be excited about to get up for in the morning. So I would like to thank all of you who have joined me on my channel. So, and yeah, but today what I'm going to be doing is something a little different. Some of you may know that um, I am a music guy. Um, basically. Uh, I'm a college student, and I'm actually going into my sophomore year, and my freshman year, I was a jazz piano major, and uh, I'm go in my sophomore year, I'm going to be a musicology major, but I am a jazz pianist, and so today, something that has been requested by a couple of my YouTube friends is that I do a narration while playing the piano, so... That is what I'm going to be trying to bring you today. I'm on my keyboard, actually, and not my actual piano, just because the setup I have to do to, uh, to get the uh, sound quality and the mic placement and so I can see the battle is kind of ridiculous, but yeah, it's all for you guys. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and preemptively apologize for... Uh, if my narration is extremely strange and if my piano playing is bad because I'm multitasking here so both of them are probably going to suffer but anyway this is a battle I had against Momo Brima he's another youtuber so definitely go check him out anyway this is an RU match we had I wanted to battle him I saw him on show and I was like hey guy want to play some RU and he said, sure. So, we got an RU battle here. Um, of course, I'm on the other side, because what kind of battle would it be against me if I was, wasn't on the other side? So, uh, I'm using my Tauros team, because, uh, you know, I always use this. I mean, this is the team you've been seeing a lot recently, and you're probably going to see it some more. So, you should probably be used to it by now. But anyway, let's just get right into the battle. He's going to lead with his Crustle. I'm going to lead with my Tangrowth. Because I want to put him to sleep. Just, you know, because I don't want him to get out. out up, up hazards. So I go for Sleep Powder. And, of course, I miss. Because it's me. And he sets up Stealth Rocks. Which kind of sucks. But I'm going to just hit the next one. Which is good. Because now he can't set up his Spikes. And he's crippled. But now since I'm Choice Specs. And locked into that. I have to switch out to my Magneton, so I can just fire off a Flash Cannon, just because it's my Scarfer. When you have, like, advantage like that, you want to switch into your Scarfer, and he brings in Sceptile. This thing is a problem, so I just want to get off a Flash Cannon, but he brings in his Crustal for some reason, and that just gets destroyed, destroyed. Which is good, because now he's most likely not ever going to wake up and get up hazards, which is great, but now he switches into his freaking wall, his lantern, and that takes that so well. And I'm going to switch into my slow king, actually, because I was predicting a water move, and it's freaking slow king, man, because this is actually Specs lantern, because I didn't see leftovers. And that only does 50%, but uh, lets him get the switch advantage, so that is not good. Anyway, he goes into Chinchino, so he can hit something. And uh, I'm just going to go into the best chin to this, Tangrowth. He's going to hit the bullet seed. One, two, three, four five times <laughs> and he's gonna hit get a crit on the tail slap and he's gonna hit five times also but even though I must max special attack I'm gonna live that but I predict a switch so I go for HP rock so now I have to switch out 
I have to switch out, and something else is gonna have to take a huge hit. But I have Dreadagon. I was predicting a tail slap, and if he actually hit there, he would have gotten wrecked by rough, rough skin, but he missed, which actually sucks, but I'm just gonna kill him with Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. But now I'm locked in, so we can bring in this. And I don't want anything except my Magneton to take this aggro bags, because, yeah, Flight Gem. But he sets up a Swords Dance, which sucks. But I know, since he doesn't have his Unburdened yet, Magneton is faster. So I'm just going to Volt Switch out into my Golurk, predicting a Drain Punch. Because I'm just trying to switch around. I'm just trying to get him to waste his Flying Gem. His Flying Gem. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, though, this turn I believe I go into... I sack something. I think I just sack Dredagon. No, I go into Magneton, predicting the Acrobacks this turn, even though I had Golurk in, so I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why he would go for the Acrobacks there. There's really no reason to go for it, but I am faster, so I can get off some good damage with that Flash Cannon. But I am dead now. So now I have to bring in something to take out the Sceptile. And Drudagon, I believe, is just the Pokemon for the job. And a plus two Flying Gym Acrobatics could probably take me out, but I know he's seen Sucker Punch. So I go for the Dragon Claw, predicting him to play Mind Game. But he Drain Punches, so... Take him out with a Dragon Claw, and that is his huge threat. Gone. But now in comes the Moltres. So now I have to go into Slowking because, you know, it's a freaking slow game. But since I took that Volt Switch earlier, I'm going to be at low health. This Air Slash is not going to not gonna quite to KO me. But he has the freaking, as you're going to see, freaking hidden power, but I live that too, which is awesome. But of course Scald is not going to take him out because it's a freaking Moltres and I don't have special attack investment. So now I really have to let something die, so I'm going to switch into uh, Drudagon just as death fodder, kind of. So Drudagon, you did well. Drudagon did well, guys. But now... Uh, he dies to life orb, and now he can bring in his threat. His freaking threat, man. His freaking scarfed and boar. This thing is a threat to my entire team. I have to sack a Pokemon now. Tangrowth, you are going to be the one who dies to this threat. I have nothing else. So Tangrowth just goes down to the end boar. But now, he's locked into Flare Blitz, and I know that Golurk can live one, and I can fire off an Earthquake, and something on his team is gonna die. So, that ends up being his Crustle, which makes sense, because it's asleep at low health. But now, he can bring in his Specs Lantern, and this is bad, because this is where a 50-50 prediction comes in. If he uh, goes for Volt Switch, and I switch out, then he wins because he goes into Embor. But if I switch out and he doesn't Volt Switch, then I win. Or if I stayed in and he Volt Switches, I would win. And he ends up staying in and goes for the Surf. And I bring in Slow King, guess kind of predicting that, and I live. Well, actually, I'm not going to live too, though. But since he, uh, since I got that prediction right, now I can go into freaking... Tauros. Tauros is going to just pwn something with that earthquake. And he ends up switching out in DM board, just maybe think he could live, but uh, I have earthquakes, so that's gonna die, and I'm life orb. He might have been thinking I was specs, or not specs, scarf. But uh, I'm life orb, so Embor is going to die in one hit, and actually a lantern dies in one hit too, which is pretty cool. So that was the very narrow 2 0 in my favor. Uh, the score definitely did not reflect it at all. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this musical narration. Uh, I also apologize for the, uh, if you heard, let's see, the pedal squeaking. Uh, it is one of those artificial pedals. Um, 
so it's squeaky. But anyway, yes. Anyway, I'd like to thank you all for 50 subscribers again. It really, really does mean a lot to me that people watch and enjoy my videos. And I, I know that narration was kind of weird. It wasn't my usual pace, but hope you enjoyed it anyway. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in another video. So yeah, thanks for 50 subscribers. Here's to another 50 more. And hope you have a good day. I'll see you next time. Peace.